Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers when all the time it was just... Empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley? They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? Who's been making trouble for you since, like, forever? Biff! Biff? Ever since the Browns took an interest in him back in the 50s, he hasn't caused me a lick of trouble. Besides, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, he's as gentle as a kitten these days. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Let's get out there and start shaking people down. We can make them talk. And before you know it, the authorities would get involved and we'd both be in trouble. No thanks. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months. Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. When I was in his office. Just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with Mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. Read him and weep. Demerits, but... It was the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh! You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I, I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. Dad. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. That it? You're looking for the one that's trained on us. That doesn't look right. Hello? Hello?
Hello. I feel like I missed something here. There, that looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it's Biff. But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten. Huh? huh? I can't understand it. That's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would wait, never... Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhance feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? X11. You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine. Don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. Pull yourself together. That's right. Did you you two sort things say? out. I've together. got some business to you attend to. Together? I'm more together than I've been in months, George. For your information, I haven't had a drink all day. Biff! Whoa, settle down there, fella! You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we can work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. But I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. <laughs> See? If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I... I don't remember. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah. She wanted to run a... a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. Biff, your watch. Does X-11 mean anything to you? X-11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity-hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Cool. Biff? <laughs> okay, that's weird. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Did you attack my dad? <laughs> well, now we're getting somewhere. Why'd you attack my dad? Where's my dad's tape? The decycling bin? Could you, uh, touch your toes? Hmm. Do the chicken dance. Yeah, he's hypnotized, all right. 
Could you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Hmm. Hey, Mr. Tin. What's up? Uh, 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 Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh, hey, you can't go in there! Uh, uh, hey! Whoa! Uh, Holy smokes! W w what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Well, here goes nothing. Gosh, ma'am. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive head first into the decycling bin? Did I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? Uh, McFly... Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin! Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Uh... Biff, stop! Stop! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Girly Max! Boobies! Huh? Tannin! Focus! Uh... Biff! Aren't those your favorite cigars? Cubans! What's going on? Biff! Howard! Tannin! Obey your programming! Ah, ah. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. I should have known you'd be trouble someday. Hey, look over there! It's beer! Beer? Where am I? Tannin! I didn't go behind my namby-pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Um... Oh. Biff, isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? Tannen, listen to me! Uh... Babes. Uh... What the fu- ah! Mommy? Tannin! Get up, you useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can- You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? Emmett, what are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She. Silence! Okay.
I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Go home and wait for me. Fine. Doc. Ah! Father, what have I done? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This Hill Valley may be a little messed up. Okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world! Ha <laughs> ha! Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Einie along? The dog, yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! Beer. Maybe I could... Nah. Doc'll need me clear-headed to build his new time machine. I wonder how many times Biff's parked under manure in this timeline. X-ray specs, joy buzzers, trick gum. Classic. Why would anyone ban these? Don't worry, Biff. Once I get back to 1931, you'll be back to Jerkville in no time. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Einie? McFly! Hey, Biff. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. 
No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah! I hope I don't run out of rock. Down, Biff. I'd stay. All right. McFly. Oh, crap. All right, McFly. Time to race the music. Face. It's face the music, you idiot. I need sick him. Place your bets. What the? Let's get out of here, Einy. Doc, sorry I took so long. Biff came around and jumped me. I totally laid him out with the old ruler. Martin McFly. Edna? It's almost impressive. How many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Oh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. Here's the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. Edna, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us.